why the imbalance of the feminine and masculine energies is the cause of human suffering. Man, male or female, lives in a reality governed by the law of polarity. This type of reality is unique because it allows the manifestation of positive and negative experiences. These experiences are great for teaching the souls, spirits of humankind to transcend dynamic life lessons, so they can evolve into enlightened beings. In order for you to know yourself at the deepest level of your being, you need to experience the expressions of the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies, so you can grow spiritually and expand your consciousness, allowing you to understand good and evil. The problem with humanity is that most of us have forgotten who we really are, and individually, lack the commitment of personal responsibility. Because of this, the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies have become heavily unbalanced, causing sickness and destructive ideas to manifest in the energy fields of our collective body, Earth. The Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies play essential roles in your life, because when both of them are working and dancing together in a harmonious way, they allow you to understand life better. When you acquire enough knowledge and experience to merge both of these two divine energies in a harmonious way, it allows you to achieve true spiritual enlightenment and intelligence. Because of this, learning how to balance the divine feminine and divine masculine energies is the key to spiritual enlightenment. What is the Divine Feminine Energy? The Divine Feminine Energy is an intelligent invisible energy that has the quality of intuition, compassion, motion, creativity, empathy, collaboration, holistic thought and right brain thinking. From the perspective of electromagnetism, the Divine Feminine Energy is the magnetic force and the Divine Masculine Energy is the electric force. Related Reading six traits of the distorted feminine and five ways to bring back the natural woman within what is the divine masculine energy the divine masculine energy is an intelligent invisible energy that possesses the quality of analytic and rational thinking competition determination linear thinking action and left brain thinking because of this People who have a lot of the qualities of the Divine Masculine Energy are often great in math and science. Most people have been conditioned to support the Divine Masculine Energy, which is why we live in a society that relies heavily on math and science to comprehend life. It is essential to know that the Divine Feminine Energy does not necessarily represent the female body and the Divine Masculine Energy does not necessarily represent the male body. Furthermore, every man or woman has both the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Energies inside him or her. The Fundamental Cause of Human Suffering the imbalance of the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies is the fundamental cause of human suffering, because it steers us away from living in a state of balance and harmony with nature. Today, we live in a world where the Divine Masculine energy has become so strong and distorted that it has weakened the Divine Feminine energy preventing it from expressing its qualities effectively. The distorted version of the Divine Masculine Energy is the fundamental cause of humanity's obsession to exploit nature and life. It is humanity's obsession with the Divine Masculine Energy that has weakened the Divine Feminine Energy, allowing the masculine power within humanity to grow out of control and manifest the desire to want to prove to Mother Nature that the masculine force is better than the feminine force. This obsession or sickness has manifested anti-nature ideas such as transhumanism, dogmatic religion and genetic engineering. Throughout human history, many stories and religion have warned us about the dangers of not living in harmony with nature. One of those stories involves the characters Adam and Eve. In certain teachings of the occult world, Adam represents the sun god Atum and Eva represents the moon. Throughout human history, the sun has always been associated with the divine masculine energy and the moon and the earth have always represented the divine feminine energy. At the deepest level, 
The biblical story of Adam and Eve is nothing more than a story of the two creative forces of polarity and why those two forces are constantly fighting and making love with each other, similar to what people do in an intimate relationship. This process of fighting, expanding, and making love, contracting, allows the manifestation of negative and positive experiences. The knowledge and experience gained from those experiences teach the two creative forces of polarity to achieve a state of balance and harmony. Once you understand the occult, hidden, meanings of the story of Adam and Eve, you will eventually know that it is a story of the two creative forces of polarity and their magical journey to achieve a state of balance and harmony. Hence, the story of Adam and Eve, the sun and the moon, the sperm and the egg, the conscious and the subconscious, the light, good, and the darkness, evil, the positive and the negative, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. During the ancient times, there were some secret societies and civilizations that worshipped the moon. Back then the name Sin was used to call the moon. To be more specific, Sin was the name of an ancient moon goddess. Today, we live in a world ruled by secret societies controlled by mostly men. These male-dominated secret societies have brainwashed most of us to worship the divine masculine energy sun slash jesus slash lucifer to prevent us from worshiping the moon and mother earth they tell us that we were born in sin and therefore if we want to be free from sin the moon we need to worship the sun jesus and accept him as our savior the idea that we need to worship the sun Jesus and accept him as our savior is nothing more than the distorted or unbalanced version of the divine masculine energy wanting to prove that it is better than the divine feminine energy. The truth is that the divine masculine energy cannot exist in a balanced and conscious state without the divine feminine energy. If the divine feminine energy were to suddenly cease to exist, the divine masculine energy would become so out of balance that it would also cease to exist. The main reason why the world is such a mess is because we live in a reality where the divine masculine energy has become so strong and distorted that it has endangered the integrity of the harmonious interaction between the divine feminine and divine masculine energies. The result of this distortion has manifested potentially destructive things to mother nature, such as wars, nuclear weapons, transhumanism, artificial intelligence, genetically modified organisms, dogmatic religion, and government. Transhumanism is nothing more than the distorted version of the divine masculine energy wanting to prove to the supreme creator that it can bear life and achieve immortality without the human body. It is left brain dominant scientists sick way of wanting to prove to mother nature that men can bear life without the assistance of women. The path of transhumanism will not lead to eternal life. Instead, it will eventually lead to the destruction of the human race. Men and women need to learn how to balance their divine masculine and divine feminine energies, so that they can live in harmony with one another or they will eventually destroy themselves and Mother Earth. It is essential to know that each man or woman has both the divine masculine and divine feminine energies inside him or her. However, Women often have more attributes of the divine feminine energy and men often have more attributes of the divine masculine energy. The action of men waging a war against the divine feminine energy is pointless, because they are only waging a war against themselves. This also applies to women waging a war against the divine masculine energy. To prevent the distorted version of the divine masculine energy from destroying our home, earth, we need to learn how to live in harmony with nature. This can be achieved by learning how to see and appreciate the beauty of nature and balancing the divine feminine and divine masculine energies.